Welcome to HoseTraining.com. In this video, we will be covering the Eaton AeroQuip ET1000 crimp machine. The easy to use ET1000 is a versatile, portable, and light duty crimp machine that is available to fit the needs of most small shops. There are two setups that are standard for the ET1000. The first is the industrial setup that will crimp all one and two wire braided Matchmate Plus hoses in sizes quarter inch through one and a quarter as well as all four wire Matchmate Plus hoses in sizes 3 eighths through one inch using Matchmate approved AeroQuip fittings. The most popular industrial hydraulic crimper package is the Shop Air operated pump model number ET1000-007 and the 110 volt electric pump model ET1000-010. Both of these models include all the collet and spacer tooling needed for the Matchmate Plus series hose. The second setup is for the High Performance Racing Division and includes the components to correctly crimp AeroQuip AQP racing hose and start light hose. This will be covered in another video. Power sources for both the industrial and high performance ET1000 include a hand operated pump, an air over hydraulic pump which requires a minimum of 80 psi shop air, a 12 volt DC operated pump, and a 110 volt half horsepower electric pump. For part numbers, descriptions, and all available options, please visit the crimper reference section of eatonproducts.com or the reference section of hosetraining.com. To begin, set up your ET1000 crimper as directed by the instruction manual included with your purchase. If you do not have the manual, please visit the reference section of hosetraining.com to download the latest version. Make sure you have a current copy of the crimp specification manual. You will need to check your crimps for correct diameters once you have made an assembly to ensure quality and safety. Please review all warnings and safety instructions in the manuals before attempting to crimp a hose. If you have any questions on the integrity of any hose or fitting you need to assemble, discard it and have a certified hose shop create your hose for you. You can also get formal training on your equipment before attempting to make high pressure hoses. There are four major components in using the ET1000 crimp machine. The machine itself, the die ring, the split collet assemblies, and the spacer rings. Consult your manuals to identify which collets and spacer ring you need for your hose assembly. Once you have selected the correct die ring adapter, split collet die, and spacer ring, we are ready to begin. In this example, we are going to crimp a 1AA6 FJ6, a simple Matchmate female JIC fitting, onto Matchmate hose GH781-6. Keep in mind that it is standard practice to mark the hose where the fitting is supposed to bottom out. All Matchmate Plus fittings have a scribe line which is the nearest ring on the fitting towards the port or threaded connection side of your fitting. Line up the hose end to the scribe line and this shows you where the bottom of the collar should terminate when inserted properly onto the hose. Mark this spot with a rubber marking crayon and insert the fitting into the hose. Lubricate the inside cone of the die ring and external surface of the collet assembly with high efficiency PTFE based lubricant. Slide the pusher back using the attached handle. Insert the die ring adapter. Keep in mind, this is not used for every assembly, but we do need it for this one. Insert the collet dies into the die ring. From the bottom of the die ring, insert the hose assembly between the two collet die assembly halves. Align the scribe line of the fitting with the top of the collet halves. Next, place the spacer ring in the correct position on top of the collet dies flat side down.
pull the pusher positioning handle toward you into the detent holding position. Turn on your power source if it is not already on and begin crimping by actuating the pump. When the spacer ring bottoms out against the base die ring, the crimping is complete. Now, using a pair of digital calipers, check to ensure correct crimp diameter. The correct crimp diameter for GH781-6, according to the Collet Spacer chart, should be 0.815, within a tolerance of 0 0.006. It is recommended that you re-lubricate the sliding surfaces of the die collets and ring adapter plate every 30 crimps, and after every 250 crimps, remove the old grease or Teflon buildup and re-lubricate to remove contaminants. Keep a light coating of oil on your black metal surfaces to prevent corrosion and make sure to check the fluid levels in the reservoir periodically per your crimp manual. For more instructional videos on hose and hose related items, please visit hosetraining.com.